Hello everyone. In this video, we want to show you what is the issue with uh, <clears throat> some drawing that you want to import to uh, Stat Building Planner. So, which means in this application. So, right now, I just uh, open Stat Pro software. So, just uh, you can open Stat Pro software after opening. As you can see here, you have the analytical interface, you have the physical interface, and also you have the building planner so we want to bring this uh, drawing this plan to building planner and we want we want to show you how simply we can create uh, for example 2d uh, story building using this uh, uh, drawing uh, layout but uh, in this way as you can see so right now i have this uh, layout and uh, if i click on here so as you can see so everything is based on the uh, closed polylines. Okay, and uh, so I have only one layer. So here I have only one layer. So, okay, so just I will close this uh, drawing and then I will go to Stat Pro and here I have the building planner. So I will select this as test. Okay, so I will say that test one and uh, make sure your metric is uh, your unit is metric and then so i can go to uh, create okay so now so we have this so i need just to specify the uh, project so here i can say that test one and uh, client so just i say that so file engineering so file number of levels so we are going to uh, create two uh, levels and uh, the uh, let's say uh, founding depth so i can say that one meter okay so if i click on create project so here i have all this information so for this tutorial we are not going to uh, change these parameters for example slab loading and beam loading parameters and also material material properties because it is not uh, the target of our uh, tutorial tutorial in this case so right now just we want to show you uh, sometimes actually you know we get some issues and how we can uh, tackle those issues so okay right now the name of plan is plan one or even i can say that um, uh, level let's say uh, level one and two and from here so i have the floor type is typical however i have the ground and roof so we can go for typical and height of level above is three meters is okay and assign levels so i need to assign l1, uh, l1 and 2 so which means they are exactly similar okay so i will select them and from here i have import plan so for import plan i have different options but uh, in this case we are we are going to uh, bring the uh, dxf file as already i showed you okay so for this reason i will select this and uh, the unit in uh, my uh, cat drawing is meter so i will change it to meter let me show you if i go back here and uh, if i open this okay if i go to see the dimension from for example from here to here is 3.75 meter okay so the dimension is meter i will close it okay and uh, i set the unit as meter and then create plan. Uh, sorry let me select the dxf okay so here the dxf is here and then so i will select the dxf and then create plan as you can see here nothing is appeared so there is some issue with the uh, dxf file so what is the issue okay let me just uh, uh, close the Just close the uh, application i can go back to my cat file from here i will open it okay so here please pay attention to the layers okay so it's very important so you need to create your layers and also you need to specify the exact layer for a slab column and if you have beam also you can go for creating a beam layer so for this reason, 
I will go to layer properties and from here I will add two layers okay so the first layer I will say that slab slab layers so here so let me just change this one to slab and this one I will change it to column column layer okay and also I can change the color of a slab with the let's say a green color and for column I will make it as uh, let's say uh, orange color okay so it is the first point that you need to uh, pay attention to it so creating the layers okay so right now I create the layers and then close it so another thing so just simply go to a uh, circle command and create you know a circle here just to, re to be represented as column so it doesn't matter about the let's say the uh, the diameter of this uh, circle just put it as I'm showing you right now okay and then I can just click on it right click copy selection and then so I'm going to put exactly at the intersection of each of each of these lines okay so here I'm just going to put the columns here and also here okay so it is the second point that you need to make sure you have it okay then I will select all this close polylines and then I will change this one to a slab okay so right now I have the slab layer and for the columns also I will select all these circles right click select similar and then I can go to column okay so right now I have the column and the slab okay so after this you can just save your model so make sure you are saving in the XF format save so uh, yes I want to replace it and close okay let's once again go to let's say new and uh, sorry guys let me just uh, to close this and then uh, let me just to open another stat file <coughs> okay so here I have the that file so again I can go to here building metric and from here I will say that test 2 okay and then create so I will go to create it again this time project I will say test 2 client so file number of levels you can go for two or three let's go for three in this example and then the uh, uh, foundation depth also I can go for for example one meter okay and then create project so from here again we are not going to change the value or parameters for slab beams and materials uh, but here I will say that L one two and three so all of these three levels will be similar so that's why here the pillar type I will select as typical and uh, height of uh, level above so you can say that three and uh, from here also you can just say that you know all this floor use uh, the uh, typical uh, CAD layer which right now just be amended okay and from here make sure that uh, cat center line input is selected and then from here once again I will go to here and then I have this accept so make sure your unit is exactly uh, same as the cat uh, unit so right now I have meter and then I can go to create plan so after that so you have this it is the plan as you can see here so you don't have any beam but you have the column see here if I select this column and then so from here 
you can right click on the column and then you can copy or paste or delete or move the column for example if you just you know go to move from here so you have the horizontal and vertical shift option so then simply you can shift the column to wherever you want to shift it uh, but here uh, also I want to show you how simply you can create the beam so for this reason you can go to beam and then here you have auto beam or you have create beam okay so you can use both this option but for uh, just again you know this tutorial just I want to show you the auto beam option if I click on this so all the possible uh, beams will be created so let's see it okay so after clicking on auto beam so here you need to just uh, uh, take care about uh, you know the uh, dimension of the beam for example here you have the uh, width or uh, breadth of the beam and also depth of the beam you have the beam load so you can change the beam load here and also you have the external beam so because here we have the external beam and also we have the internal beam so from here you have the internal beam and external beam so here you can simply you know set all this value concrete grade for the beam maybe you can go for 25 and the cover for rebars so here you have the tensile uh, uh, let's say reinforcement and compress uh, compressive reinforcement and uh, uh, here also you have the uh, flange dimension if you have let's say uh, any uh, let's say uh, irregular uh, beam uh, size or type okay so never mind so here i just i'm in the auto beam detail option and then after setting all these parameters so i can click ok so right now as you can see you have these beams so after uh, having this beam so then you need to go to uh, tool uh, sorry you, you can go to the uh, uh, this option the last one so here you have the finalize plan so you can click on this and here plan is finalized okay so click ok and and uh, after finalizing the plan so you can go to analysis but before that also you can go to uh, uh, workspace and if you want to see the 3d frame so from here as you can see you can use this orbit option so here you have this uh, geometry or building that we created and uh, to export it to a stat pro so you need to come to analysis so from here just generate analysis file so if i click on this okay save the project okay so we need to save the project and then analysis generate analysis file click on this and from here so just again review this uh, setting and uh, just you know set the parameters as required and then go to generate okay generate the file and here you have the building so if you go to view so from from here if I go to view and then from here you can see what we created here okay guys so uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and if you have any question any comment please leave your comments below this video and if you have any concern uh, just let us know we will try to come back to you as soon as possible thank you so much have a great day